All right, are speckled trout schools getting thicker in the marsh? And what do they want to hit? That's what I'm here today to find out. All right, if you saw a recent video I shot, you saw this bait work incredibly well. It's a crab bowl colored pro's choice soft stick bait. Got it on a depth grip jig head. And man, the trout would not leave this thing alone. Oh, there's another one. That felt like a trout hit. Yep, sure is. All right, there he is, another trout. All right. So obviously that's what I'm starting with today. I'm in a different area, but it's one that also has freshwater influence. So we could definitely run across some bass or some redfish or nothing, who knows? This water's just okay. It's fishable, but it's not as good as what I caught fish in in that other video, but we're gonna give it a whirl. We do have a falling tide. So hopefully the water will clean up a bit as the day moves along. The water in this bayou isn't as deep as I'd like. 2.8 feet but there's a nice looking bend coming up ahead should have some deeper water there and that's the most likely spot for some trout to be hanging out and we got a brisk northeast wind today temps are supposed to warm up and this wind is supposed to die but we'll see there's a fish I did not get a good hook set oh it's a bass I think We'll see if we land him. I got a bad hook set. He kind of surprised me. Oh, we got him. We got him. These are always a possibility in these marshes. Sweet. Never mind getting bass as bycatch. Targeting trout. Around here, locals call those green trout. They're not related, obviously, even though they do have some similarities facially. He was at the mouth of that Trinas, that marsh drain. Now my last trip with this bait, I could not keep the speckled trout off of it, but I didn't catch a single bass on it. Stands to reason today my first fish would be a bass. Now the grass is really making a nice comeback in South Louisiana after the winter died back. And that's just, I love it. I love the grass. Makes the water a lot cleaner, makes those fish more predictable. Just great for the whole estuary. Some areas it's tough to fish, but you can always find an area that's productive. No question, if you can find grass. All right, so far I'm pretty unimpressed with this bayou. This bend right here is 4.2 feet of water. That's just not enough. I mean, believe me, it could hold a trout or two, but it's not gonna hold any numbers. I'm almost to the end, so I'm gonna make a little run, go see if I can find some better water, some deeper water, some faster moving water, <laughs> and some speckled trout. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, uh, what are you? I think you're a bass. Yep, you're a bass. All right, Mr. Orange Eyes, look at you. Beautiful fish, small, but just a pretty, pretty fish. Real fat, really fat. What you been eating, dude? Oh, look at, I didn't even know it was a Trinoche right here, but that's where he was. At this mouth, might be some other ones here. And for those of you who don't live in South Louisiana, Trinas is the Cajun word for marsh drain. That's what we all call them. As a general rule, you want to fish marsh drains when the tide is falling. When it's rising, focus more on points. Of course, even in a falling tide, I like to fish points. <laughs> so some good advice, always fish points. So we're on the hunt for speckled trout, and so far, got a couple of bass. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I found a speckled trout that other time while I was hunting for bass. All right, I've reached the end of this bayou, and as I mentioned, it's been underwhelming. Water's not great, doesn't have the depth I like, so I'm gonna make a move, see if I can find some better water. I think if we find good water, I think we'll find some fish. Because other than that, I really like our conditions. So let's make a move. All right, the water in this area is prettier than your high school girlfriend. Beautiful. There's no fish here. We cannot, we cannot blame the water. We'll have to come up with some other excuse. Let's hope we don't need to find another excuse. We're in a major bayou with some depth. Five and a half feet right here, not crazy deep. Oh, look at you. I saw you hit it. I saw you hit it, bro. <laughs> you didn't see that big boat right next to you? Man, you got it deep too. You must have hit it head first.
Oh, there's a fish right on that point. Ooh, big bass. <laughs> Come on, big bass. Come on, big bass. Come on over here. All right. All right. Oh, right in the eye. It's all right. You still got one good one because I don't think that's going to heal. Get out there with your one good eye. Let's see if they got some more in this point. There's another one. That's not anything big. I don't know what it is. Might be a trout. It hasn't come up. Oh. Nope, another bass. Another bass. It's a bass kind of day. It just is. Did you all eat all the trout? I think you did. I got a buddy named Ty Hibbs. He's a fishing guide. I fished with him back in October. I fished with him a number of times, but most recently in October. And his Instagram handle is whatever bites, which I think is a great Instagram handle. It definitely fits him because he fishes for everything and he doesn't care what he catches, just whatever bites. And to be honest, I really feel the same way. Like I came out today targeting speckled trout. They're not really biting or I haven't found any or whatever, but the bass are, and that's totally fine. We'll just catch some bass. I haven't given up on looking for trout. Hopefully we run across some, but if all we catch are bass, I'm a happy man. There's one. That's gotta be a red or a flounder. Oh yeah, flounder. Yes, all right. I'm not keeping fish today, and that's unfortunate because I'd love to eat this guy. Dude, you are very, very lucky. That's all I gotta say. Get out there and make some babies. We need them. As I was saying, whatever bites, those things are definitely making a comeback. The state of Louisiana is about to put a big restriction on them. It's gonna be a closed season because numbers have been atrocious for years. But I've seen far more in the past year than I have in the previous five literally and a lot of them are that size not really monsters just really big enough to keep just borderline big enough to keep oh that's a fish that's a bass i think a little one yep little bass he hit me hard. <laughs> Just not a big fish. Oh, there's a fish. Is that our trout? Yes, it is. There we go. We don't have him yet, but we hooked him. All right. It's a bit of validation. I love it when a plan comes together. First trout of the day but they're still in this marsh. Definitely great to see. Not a big one, but a keeper. He's probably about 13, 13 and a half inches, but we're gonna let him go. So that means we got the three hardest elements <laughs> of a grand slam we've gotten bass flounder and now speckled trout we don't have a redfish yet you know of course flounder is the most difficult one to catch and we call a marsh slam three of the four and a true grand slam is all four of them all right as you can tell our wind has died and that means it's getting super natty <laughs> this is stuff i've been telling you about this marsh romance i like it so much i picked them up as a sponsor very important you shake this stuff if you get some and use it. Now the beauty of this stuff, it smells really good, but it's not feminine like Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. So check this stuff out if you haven't yet. I mean, believe me, your first natty day, you'll be very glad you have it. All right, now I'm kind of determined to catch this Grand Slam. So I'm gonna throw this SB57 for a hot minute. Redfish love this thing. <laughs> of course, so do bass and so do speckle trout. So no telling what I might catch on it. Oh, 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 there's a fish. 
Man, I just picked this thing up. What is that? What are you? You're red. Come on, be a red. I think you're a bass, though. That's spot lock. Yep, bass. Nice bass. My goodness. Really good bass. Look at this fish. Oh, my SB57. For bass, it's like Heinz 57. See you around, buddy. This is the first time I've thrown this collar. I don't really know what it's called, but I'll look it up. I like it though, particularly in pretty water. You know, something I've thought a lot about when I'm out here is how every angler on the planet likes to go catching. <laughs> Everybody likes to catch fish, but a minority of anglers like to go fishing. And what I mean by that is fewer than 50% of anglers, I, I'd say far fewer, like to actually go out and fish and find fish. Most people want to go to an X on a map, maybe get some intel from a buddy and go exactly to that spot. And you know, if they bite, they bite. If they don't, they don't. They're there, they're there. If they're not, they're not. And I'm not gonna say I've never done that or never ever do that. I do use intel to give me a head start sometimes, but I just really love going fishing. I just really like getting out here and trying to figure the fish out, trying to figure out what they want, how they want it, what type of fish are biting, where they're biting. To me, it's it's what makes this entertaining and it's what makes it always new and always different. I go with no expectations. And so no matter what, they're always exceeded. Now, sometimes I do have expectations like today. I planned on coming into the marsh and catching some speckled trout and it didn't really work out. I caught, I think what I catch one one trout but the bass are biting also ran across a flounder all in all a very successful day and as I mentioned earlier I don't care what I catch I just like feeling fish bite fighting them and getting that validation that what I did was successful that to me is what keeps me coming back every day is different and it's just awesome I just love being out here I truly do my favorite place unfortunately <laughs> I'm not gonna be out here much longer I gotta go but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. And what we're gonna catch, I don't have a clue. <laughs> You'll find out what I do.